Hey guys, Andrew here, coming to you with my gear choices for 2017. Now, as you know, I wasn't making as many videos in 2017, but I was still using my gear regularly, and I was also watching the industry pretty carefully. And so, for this year's Gear of the Year, what I'm going to choose are my personal favorites of my collection that I use the most and enjoy the most, and then I'm also going to talk about my favorites more as a journalist in the industry. The, brands and the pieces that I think stood out the most in the gear world for 2017. Uh, I'm going to focus on the everyday carry gear items that my channel kind of specializes in, but I will give some broader commentary as well. So I hope you enjoy the format and thanks a lot for watching. We can kick things off with the watch I wore the most in 2017, and that is the Seiko Alpinist, shown here on a strap that I really enjoyed, the Hodenki Shell Cordovan Strap in color number 8. Great watch, great strap, wearing it a lot. But my favorite watch brand of 2017 was in fact Timex. Here's one watch that I reviewed from Timex in 2017. This is the Waterbury Collection Timex, which is a collaboration with Todd Snyder, Red Wing, and Timex in their Waterbury Collection. Waterbury watches are very stylish. They also came out with the awesome Mark I and aluminum case Timex that I intend to review. But boy, the thing that really excited me, something I've been talking about for years, a mechanical Timex, the Marlin. This is a watch that harkens back to the old Marlin in 34 millimeters with a Chinese mechanical movement. Something that uh, the watch community has been asking for for years and they finally did it. I hope this is the beginning of something we'll be seeing a lot more from Timex and boy would I love to get my hands on this limited edition watch. If you had to ask me about a big fancy brand, of course the Omega Trilogy this year was pretty freaking awesome. My favorite knife brand of 2017 was another classic brand, Benchmade. The knife I carried the most by far was the 707 sequel. This is the limited edition that was made for Blade Show. The 707 has actually been discontinued, but I enjoy this knife so much. It's a perfect everyday carry size. It's um, got a very useful, simple blade. I enjoy the axis lock. It's broken in very smoothly. Timex really brought the heat in 2017, improving a lot of existing models and also bringing some new models to the floor and uh, I think that what they've essentially done is proven that they can still keep up with a lot of other brands that are very forward-thinking ZT, Spyderco of course and all of these new Chinese brands. Benchmade is still making very high quality knives and the kind of knives that they make are an excellent example of a knife that it's really the only knife you need unless you're a collector. Uh, one example that stood out to me was the Bug Out just a super lightweight Benchmade, classic Benchmade style, very nice materials, very lightweight, pretty much an, a perfect everyday carry knife from what I can tell, and uh, one that I would love to get in my collection. My most carried pen was this uh, Max Madco bolt action pen. I honestly wasn't paying attention to pens as much in 2017, so I'd love to hear from you what you enjoyed in the pen world. I do know that Will Hodges came out with some uh, new models of pens and some updated versions of his pens, and so that's something that I would probably look into more. Now for flashlights, again, it's a similar theme here. It's something that I've been carrying for the last couple years. So Prometheus Beta QR on my keychain was my most used light by far. Love that quick attack mechanism it's very affordable I didn't have to stress about this light at all it's just an amazing beater holding up great uh, really highly recommend it uh, great everyday carry light on the higher end I did get a, a movie shop mouse mark one and this is an extremely beautiful high-end light basically a custom light uh, incredible machining incredible details very practical settings great runtime just awesome in every respect this is a brand that's really bringing some very high level craftsmanship and very high level design into the flashlight world uh, and he's expanding his line a lot here's just a shot of the uh, Prometheus Betty QR and the Mooshot uh, mouse next to one another. As you can see, the mouse is a little bit smaller. I have it on a little lanyard um, or a little um, paracord for easy carry. If um, you're interested in a larger high-end flashlight, then I definitely recommend you go to Mooshout website and uh, check out some of the different uh, lights they have available. They really have a variety of sizes and a variety of um, designs. Uh, all very impressive, all very cool. Uh, definitely a brand to check out. As far as boots go, Red Wing was my choice for boots. Again, probably an unsurprising choice for me. They just are continuing to expand their line, bring interesting leathers to the table. And by far, the most interesting boot for me of 2017 was was this new Irish Setter 
877 style boot. So basically this is the 875 in a six inch boot with a unique shade of or original leather and uh, badged as a Irish setter boot. I was able to actually check these out at um, Anscott Finlayson which is a very cool kind of men's goods store in Minneapolis and these boots uh, aren't cheap but they are very interesting perhaps test for uh, higher end Irish setters which I would love to see. Uh, you'll see more about those boots coming up. My favorite backpack brand, and this is speaking purely as a, a journalist, was Mystery Ranch. They came in with a bunch of production level backpacks. Normally they just do custom and high end backpacks. Really great looking stuff that I would love to get my hands on. My favorite scotch, by the way, happened to be McKellen Edition number two. Would you like to see scotch reviews on this channel? Let me know. My favorite gear reviewer and gear journalist by far is Anthony Scalambrini of Everyday Commentary. That guy rode quite a tidal wave this year if you know anything about his incident with Microtech knives and he's still producing amazing content so please do go check him out if you haven't already. Overall, I felt like I had a very balanced, modest, restrained, everyday carry, typically everyday. We're in a kind of gear mecca where middle of the road stuff still happens to be incredibly nice and incredibly good. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. What was your favorite gear of 2017? What are you looking forward to in 2018? Let me know and I'll be very happy to hear from you and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you enjoy my content regularly, you can maybe hit that notification bell. And as always, thanks a lot for watching.